in the last video we stopped uh, here I told you the vertex is 1.25 comma minus 6.125 I wanted to explain how I got minus 6.125 though I say that I'm going to explain I didn't explain okay that's where uh, teachers go wrong okay they think that they're saying something but you can always check your video and uh, see where you went wrong okay so let me let me use a different color now so I wanted to show I didn't show how I got this minus 6.125 hopefully you should have figured by now but then also let me use the calculator so I told you that uh, I multiplied I, I told you I've expanded this means I have distributed two to x square uh, this bracket and I distributed two to minus three point uh, zero six two five so that is distribution of this so let me make this thicker I don't like this thin okay so this is good so this color is good okay so so what I've done is uh, minus two point sorry minus two times 3.0625 is or you can understand also 2 times 3 is 6 and 0 0.0625 times 2 is 0 0.125 it's always good to check on a calculator so menu uh, run and uh, 2 times minus 0 0.625 is Oh, sorry, I didn't put a zero there. To put a zero there, so zero. That is minus six point one two five. Okay, so now, so this is the vertex form, and now we have to find the x-intercept. Okay, so for the x-intercept, uh, I'll write the vertex form again. Okay, so what what was the vertex form? So, so we are now going to work the x-intercept okay so this is the home stretch so we want to find the x-intercept so x-intercept you should be knowing by now is when y is equal to zero so let me set so this is y this is the vertex form so let me rewrite the vertex form y is equal to two bracket uh, x minus 1.25 squared minus 6.125 6.125 in the next step I'm going to divide each of I don't want this two sitting here that is nagging me sorry I should have okay next step is I I'll write zero is equal to two bracket x minus 1.25 squared minus 6.125 okay now the next step I'm going to divide uh, each of them by 2 so if I divide this by 2 I have to divide this by 2 and I also do it to divide this by 2 so let me bring back my blue pen okay so this is so this is 0 divided by 2 is 0 is equal to so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled that is x minus 1.25 squared and 6.125 divided by 2 is they're doing the opposite that is 3.0625 okay now this is a perfect square okay generally this would be a perfect square so let me scroll up so this is 0 is equal to x minus 1.25 squared minus 3.0625 is 1.75 squared now how did I get that so I make a guess this probably I want to write this as a perfect square so this is how I did I went to the calculator and I uh, this is a scroll down you no know, run and execute I want to why is it showing okay so let me close this let me open a new calculator shortcut oh yeah so menu run and uh, 
square root shift square root of 3.06625 equal that's 1.75 or 1.75 squared that's the same thing 1.75 squared equal 3.0625 okay so that's why i wrote uh, 3.0625 as 1.75 squared so this has become now so 0 is equal to now i can use the difference of two square formula that is a minus this is a and this is b so this is x minus 1.25 minus 1.75 and x minus 1.25 plus 1.75 now which is the formula I use this is the formula that is let me write that in the bracket a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b this is a formula this is a wonderful formula very useful so I have compared A, A with X minus 1.25 and B with 1.75. So if you put that in the bracket, you can see better. Okay, so, so this is, so 0 is equal to X minus, minus 1.25 minus 1.75 is minus 3. Okay, and this would be minus 1.25 plus 1.75 is x plus 0.5 so the same principle so let me rewrite this so this is x minus 3 bracket x plus 0.5 is equal to 0 so you have to now think when would this become 0 when would uh, let me use a different color so I'm going to say when would this become zero and when would this become zero so I can say x would be three or x has to be negative 0 0.5 okay so my x intercepts let me write as a coordinate so my x intercepts are uh, let me write this first so negative 0 0.5 comma 0 and the other would be 3 comma 0 okay so i'll continue this in the next video thank you